You ever walk the chains? Were you ever into chains? Yo, when I was, here's a funny story. I was probably, I was doing some movies and TV just shit, you know what I'm saying? And um, I had bought this crazy chain. She was like 30,000, you know, nice chain, cross, big diamonds and shit. And um, I got robbed for it. Oh, wow. But not like I didn't get stuck up. Somebody like swindled me out of it. You know what I'm saying? I was with this person, you know what I'm saying? And it got swindled away from me. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to waste money on trains and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I'd rather just buy some trees, relax, you know what I'm saying? Spend money on my kids. Right. You know, invest my money in properties and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, chains ain't, ain't for me. Right. And right now, niggas be walking around with 150000 on their neck. More than that. And 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 these and some niggas ain't got $150 in their pocket. <laughs> the wolves is out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been able to, you know... Navigate through this hip hop shit, flying under the radar. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I, I always said like, I am the jewelry. I'm jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I shine. Right. I don't need somebody to throw a chain on my neck to shine. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's always been my my well being. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Always shine. For sure. Uh, we touched on this um, on Shirley Temple, but uh, you know, you talking about movie premiere. Um, would love to bring you back to the Sunset Park movie premiere. You know, you met Tupac. Tupac was sitting right behind you. Um, can you just bring us back to that moment? Um, that's not when I met Tupac. Oh. I, I mean, I've I've always seen Tupac, you know, oh, you here, saw him here there. and there, My you know bad. what I'm saying? Yeah, but he yeah. came to the premiere, yeah, he was there. Yeah. The whole death row was there. Right. 30 deep, scaring everybody and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but um, the funny thing is, I didn't know he was going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they mentioned, yo, Tupac might come, but, you know, he had a song on the soundtrack. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So he had a reason to be there. And at the time, you know, when Sunset Park came out, there was not too many rapper actors mm -hmm. at that time. You know, I slid in the game doing strap. Tupac had Juice at the time. You know what I'm saying? And um, we were kind of like the only two rappers from my generation. You had the right. Ice T's and Ice Cubes. They were doing anything, but... I'm talking about as far as like the new 90s rappers. Fact. Me and Pac set it off. Fact. It was, who was it? Right. Strapped and Juice. Right. That was the set off. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I saw Juice, I was like, yo, this dude is dope. He's fucking ill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like his acting skills is better than mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, yo, who is this nigga? <laughs> but um, so what when we when we had the premiere, the Sunset Park premiere, he showed up on the red carpet. I was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I was watching the movie, he was in back of me, like sitting like two seats in back of me. So Tupac, Suge Knight, these niggas in back of me, watching my movie. I'm like, yo, this shit is L. So we watch it. Every time I look back, this nigga's throwing popcorn or, you know, just having a good time and shit. Like, you know, he was enjoying the movie. You know what I'm saying? And um, that was just ill to know that Tupac the legend was watching me, you know what I'm saying? So that was ill. That's beautiful. We blew it down at the, in the parking lot. Did you? you? Yeah, I was going to say, that's when Suge... Uh... Yeah, we blew it down in the parking lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A couple of conversations, you know what I'm saying? But Right. Yeah. Is it is it true? He Going was... way too soon, man. For sure. Yeah, well, I was going to ask just, you know, how was how did you feel when he got killed? Um Oh man, I felt like everybody else in the world. Like we lost, we lost a part of, part of uh, what we love. We lost a part of hip hop, and we love hip hop, right? So we lost a part of the culture. The part of the culture was gone. You know what I'm saying? And um, the feeling was just heartbreaking. You know, because somebody like that so strong, you, you don't see them dying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just seem invincible. Right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, and and Big. You know, Big was a cool cool brother, man. Right. I got to spend time with Big before he passed, like, right. in L.A. Like, you know, I was in the mix to all of that. You right. know what I'm saying? Onyx was part of the 
the leaders of the new school. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right, we was right. part of that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The early 90s. And Pac and Big was part of the brotherhood we had. You right. know what I'm saying? I was cool with both of them brothers. Right. Jam Master J. Right. My mentor. Right. A lot, a lot of brothers in here, man. So every day you wake up, you just got to, you know what I'm saying? Be Say great. your blessings and just For keep sure. it moving. You For know what I'm sure. saying?